that's right. water. You don't need to rely on a river <laughs> to make your whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad. To be fair, it's not bad at all. It's nice. It's nice. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe. subscribe. What are we trying today? We're trying Aberlour 14. Double mm. cask matured. So what do you think of Aberlour? Not much. Mm. So not not in a bad way to be honest. Like so, I know that Aberlour Abuna was extremely popular. It is years really ago. good. I've still not tried that one. Got really expensive. Really expensive. It was shot. It went from like fifty or sixty pound to like eighty or ninety or more than hundred. I think it's more than hundred now. Yeah. Um, so it is whiskies from five to twenty five years old, mind you, in there. I mean, so. fair enough. And so before that, I'd, I think I've only tried the Aberlour ten, which I didn't like. But it was years ago I tried it. I thought it was all right. But that was years ago as well, I think. Um, the more I had tried it, the more I thought, yeah, I'm not that keen on this. But mm -hmm. they've discontinued that. Yes, I'd So people that. that loved it, love it, are buying it up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they can have it. And it was in a wee thin bottle, wasn't it? They're all yeah, stumpy bottles. Yeah, all the, all the other ones are like, yeah, stumpy bottles. Stumpy, like chunky this. bottles. Um, whereas the, the 10 was in a taller, thinner bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, the 12's quite nice. They do a 12, a 14, a 16 and an 18, I think. Maybe yeah. there's not a 16, I might have made that one up. I think there is uh, a 16, 16. I, think, cool. I think. And there's an Abuna and all the other Gaelic. Are they all Gaelic names? I can't think of any other ones, actually. There's a... Oh, Cascama a or something. Yeah, yeah. That one was quite nice. A-M-A-G-H or something. I I've not tried that one. I've hardly tried that earlier, to be honest. Mm. So it's like generally like a sherry to space out. Yes. So as standard, they fill everything into... Oloroso sherry butts and first fill bourbon. Right. So that's what they're always putting everything into. So that's what this one is. Okay. And we did this in a tasting recently, didn't we? Mm. And some folk loved it. Some people absolutely raved about it. And I found it. My tasting notes. I did proper tasting notes. But then for every one, I did like little short, like basic tasting mm -hmm. notes of like what I thought of it. And this one I wrote um, thin, chalky and disappointing. So maybe I'll find it better today. I'm finding it's very sweet. Like burnt sugar. High up though, and it's definitely got an astringence to it. Yeah. Like burnt sugar that's gone too far. So it's a uh, 40% it's been chill filtered. Yeah, yeah. That's probably why I found it thin. Sad face. Mm. I do like their bottles. I like a I do, bottle. I like it. And the, the really wide top on it's it. It's maybe not cool. great for pouring though, because it's quite... No, it doesn't fit properly on an optic, hand. which is... Ah. Mm. Maturing it for 14 years, you'd think we're gonna bottle this at its best. Yeah, not 5%. Rather than, and chill filter. Take away stuff. Yeah. yeah. I'm not getting all that much from it. I find it quite, it's quite thin already and it has a little, it's sweet but bit, it's got a bitter back note to it. Sherry and perfumed and yeah, bitter back. I don't even get sherry or perfume. I'm finding it quite Maybe perfumey. Maybe I'm already yeah. preparing not to like it though. It's fine, I'm finding it less sweet the more I smell it. Mm, mm -hmm. A wee like tangerine kind of note, mandarin. Mm -hmm. But it's still quite, it's it's quite mm -hmm. faint. Do we taste? Slange. Mm. Mm. Maple syrup. Maple syrup. Mm. Maple syrup mixed with golden syrup. It's got a bit of a bitter taste at the end or something in my mouth. I think that's bitter. I don't know this wording. But it's very sweet. The bitter, bitter whiskies. Bitter, not bitter. a good one yet. Shite. <laughs> I'm not getting very much from that at all. There's um, a wee chocolate icing bit. Chocolate icing Very, as well. very thin chocolate icing. A bit soapy, actually. I think that wee bit. Floral like soap. A, Whatever that like basic, basic the the big multi bag bar of soap you get, magnolia or something mm. of the bar mm -hmm. soap. Yeah, quite floral. Oh soapy. my goodness, yes, yeah. magnolia soap. That's right. Put me Even off the it. liquid soap. Oh, I wonder if 
Ooh. That is magnolia. Is that what, what, what a magnolia flower is like? I don't know if I've come across a magnolia. I wouldn't wild. know if it hit me in the face. No, no. But yeah, Aberlour Distillery, um, they're, they have a motto that the original founder said, and it was in his family since the time of like William Wallace and Robert the Bruce or something like that. And it is, let the deed show. Mm -hmm. Sounds a bit weird to me, mm -hmm. but they say it kind of means like, let the whiskey speak for itself. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So yeah, they kind of, I suppose it must be working for them because they are really popular. But they also admit that they think it might be a little bit of luck, but they do also think that it might be to do with the fact that they drop a little bit of Aberlour 12 into the spay every uh, year. Ah, river. So that it gives them good clean water the so following the, yeah, year. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely. So definitely. that's what's doing it. That must be it. Mm, yeah. That must be it. It's, th it's nice, it's very drinkable and it's quite sweet. And I also did prefer this at the tasting as well, um, that we did. Oh no. I thought it was sweeter. I thought it tasted like marshmallows. Mm. Oh, I get what you mean. But I'm getting much more soap. I think this would be good for a beginner whiskey drinker mm. who was ready to move on to something less beginnery, mm. but didn't maybe doesn't like the lingering heat. Because Aye. it's got nothing lingering. There's nothing lingering in that. So you've gone off your Glen Fittiches. Yeah. You're moving past your Duras. Go for an Avalour. Instead of going for a Glen Morangi. Yeah. Yeah. Or a Lagavulin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or a Shabas Regal. <laughs> yeah, try a older I can't even there's no other way to say Aberlour differently. A bear lure. lure. <laughs> a bear lure. <laughs> it's it's French. French, yeah. <laughs> I think that's what we should start every video with now, is pronouncing the whiskey in a wrong, wrong. way. <laughs> mm, it's perfectly pleasant, but it's nothing to write home about. It's a shame I've heard of most whiskey distilleries, because I would probably do yeah, that the first would. time I hear it, then I usually say it Remember wrong. Remember you used to call Glen Talkers something like Glen Todgers or something? <laughs> I was like, that's not right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please subscribe down here for more like this and join us again next time. Slange! Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time. Slange! I could get them to take it and I could say to they'll know who it is. If he doesn't come by then, I could get them to take mm -hmm. it. Cause it's Friday they're coming. If he's not come by then, I'll tell you the details to tell to them. Or I could email them. I could email Stephen. I think it's him. This is we you. don't need to be doing this right on your now. Sort of my brain journey. We'll do this. No, we'll do this. No, we'll do oh, I looked where you're pointing. I looked up there to see what this was. I'm like a dog.